Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. On our last video I talked about changing the string value here of our uh, of our example Android application to say our name. That was an easy change. Now we'll talk about a more complicated change. We're going to change the whole name of our project. And the reason we want to know how to do this is because later on when we talk about using PhoneGap as our uh, framework for our HTML5 Android app, the template is going to be called Example. Therefore, our project is going to be called Example, and we don't want that. We want the name of our company to be the name of our project instead of Example. So we have to learn how to rename a project. It's not as easy as simply uh, changing, you know, right-click, rename. It's more complicated. So I'm going to set my virtual device back to go home. I usually do that. I'm going to close these open files, strings XML and activity main. And we've got four steps that we need to do. Uh, three of these are internal that the user will not see, and one of them is external so that the user will see. The first thing that we'll do is we'll change the name in the Package Explorer. Uh, this is currently called My Amazing App. I'm going to right-click My Amazing App and select Refactor, Rename. I will change this to be called Campos App. No spaces because the package name does not like spaces. Leave Update References and then OK. And now we've got Campos App open up the project again and now we need to change a few more things inside of that src folder the source folder if you open that you will see a reference com.campos.myamazingapp the name of the old app so now what we need to do uh, is uh, right click refactor rename again and this will be com.campos.campos.app. I have update references and rename subpackages turned on. And then I'll OK. Hopefully at this point it renamed what we needed to without a problem and you don't have any little red X's. If you do have some red X's, they should be fixed on the following on the following changes. Next, uh, we need to edit the Android Manifest XML file. So double click that. The Manifest XML file is a complicated file that has a lot of properties for our project, which we'll get to later, such as uh, is the project only in portrait orientation or can it do landscape? Uh, what sort of permissions can the file access, such as GPS, camera, etc. What we care about at the moment is at the top where it says package, it still has the old name. The one that we typed a moment ago is what we want. So change that to again say campos or com.yourlastname.camposapp or the name of your, your last name. Since we've changed this file, it needs to be saved. So select to save you might get a pop-up that says the package definition in the manifest changed. Do you want to update your launch configuration? Say yes. Let it update. You can close that manifest file. And as I said, you may or may not get these um, red marks that appear. Uh, I'm going to continue for the moment. So I've changed three out of four spots. The fourth spot, if you open up the res folder, inside the values folder, you'll see strings XML. We've seen strings XML. This is where we changed hello world. Now, if you select app name, this is where we can select the name of your application. This is no longer my amazing app. This is Campos app. Remember to change only the value, not the name. File save. And I want to see my results in the virtual device. So I'll click the little black triangle for run configurations. I want a new configuration.
double click Android application. Under name, we'll call this Campos App Run Config. Select to browse. Select Campos App Target. We've done this all before. Always prompt apply and run. So again, you might get errors. Well, how do you fix this? Let's check what the errors what the errors are. At the bottom, you'll see console declaration problems. Okay, I'll click on problems. So what does mine say? The import com.campos.myamazingapp cannot be resolved. Well, what does that mean? If you double click an error message, it'll usually jump you to the right file to help you fix this. Now, I thought I changed the name of the project earlier under SRC, and I selected uh, include all references. And I would think that because I activated that, everywhere in my app that had the old name will now become the new name. Alright, that's uh, not what happened. So, with our error panel down here, it's telling us there's a problem, and if you double click, it takes you to where the problem is. In my case, this line here is still referencing the old name. Okay, well, let me change that. Campos app. Let me save. And the red X's are gone. Hopefully, when you made your change, you didn't get any red X's. I got a red X, three of them, and I found how to fix them. Now, if you make your change like me, and it still doesn't work, or if your error is something else, something about text below before preamble or any other error that I didn't mention, it's very hard to troubleshoot what went wrong. Unfortunately, this is what sometimes happens, and I run into this all the time, especially beginning new projects. Um, sometimes Android development is rough around the edges. We're using the code, we're using the tool, but sometimes these things don't quite work. The short answer is try again. The short answer is right-click your pack, your project, select to delete, and start again. Hopefully you are still at the beginning so that the second time it'll work. You might have to restart Eclipse. Uh, as I said, sorry, sometimes it just doesn't want to behave. I make it look so easy here because I've had this experience before. But again, if you've had trouble, uh, try try again. I fixed it. I need to run it to see my results, so I'll go back to the little triangle. It's still got my Campos app run config. Click it. I have not gotten a pop-up. Well, I've got this pop-up, which means everything's running well so far. Select my virtual device. You can double-click it. Bottom right is giving me feedback. Go back to my virtual device. And now there's the name of my new application, Campos app. Great. If I go back home, wait a minute, it still says My Amazing App. Well, don't worry about this, because if you go back to your application list, you should see your current version of the application, in my case, Campos App, is listed also with the old application, My Amazing App. So we've got different versions of it installed, no big deal, but we've got the latest version for sure. So so that I'm not confused, I'm going to uninstall the old application. Just like a real Android device, I can tap and hold it and then drag it over to uninstall. Confirm. And now uninstall finished. I don't have that old app anymore. If I go back to my home screen, it's not there anymore. I can uh, tap and hold Campos app to put it on my home screen. And now I've only got my new version. So there we go. Renaming our project. Not as simple as renaming a, a file because there's so many moving parts to an Android application. And what's the point of this? Let's say you do change the name of your app later on. Maybe maybe someone, you're, you've got unexpectedly uh, copyright infringement and you need to change the name of your app. Now you know how. 
More importantly, when we set ourselves up using PhoneGap, we're going to use a starting framework that is named Example. And Example is not the name of our project, so we need to rename it. And now I've shown you how. So come back on our future videos and we can proceed.